Hi, Froyle here. Welcome to my studio. So I'm going to use this beautiful image of my daughter. It's very moody, um, as she is. <laughs> uh, it may not print well, I'm not sure, until I have a little play around if it's gonna work. I am going to use the brown black color, which is like a sepia tone. And the first challenge is to not put too much paint on the gel plate. But you've got to have enough to make a nice print. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, it's tricky. Um, now, I'm using a colour laser print because I have found that the colour laser prints work better for an image transfer than the black and white. So that's just how it's working for me. It may be different for you if you're using your own laser printer. I don't know, but have an experiment. Try it and see whether or not the color works better. I know it's a little more expensive to print out color images, but if you're doing image transfers and you really want to be successful. So we'll see how this one goes. Not quite sure, it might be a little too moody because your photo does have to have a lot of contrast areas. But we shall see. Moody suits my little treasure. <laughs> Don't tell her you said so. Righto, so she has transferred absolutely beautiful. Actually, she's transferred better than I expected. So that's very nice. I'm going to put her on a piece of tissue paper because I want to try a different idea. So I'm putting her on a piece of tissue, just white tissue paper. This is a recycled piece of tissue, so hopefully it's an all right piece of tissue. I did try and iron the crinkles out of it, but there's still one crinkle there. I do have to be a little bit more gentle pulling it off. Right, put it on a piece of white paper, and there we go. That's not too bad. It's not too bad for an image transfer. It's got a few little funny shapes on it, but that's from the gel plate. But that's okay. What's fun about putting it on the tissue is you can then add it to all sorts of other papers, and those elements will come through. So that can be really fun. Mm, pretty nice. What I love about this creative medium is that every monoprint, every image transfer application is completely unique and individual work of art. I can't repeat these prints even if I tried because it depends on how much paint you use, how long you leave it on the gel plate, the temperature of the day, how much uh, pressure or the application. It creates all these variables to make that beautiful mono print. So when you approach a project using image transfer application, make sure you print out four or five color laser prints. I get them done from my office stationery. It's a five minute walk away. It's really easy. And you then have a few that you can try different applications. You can use different colors, different textures, different backgrounds. Also, even if you used exactly the same approach with each color copy, it will come out different in the print. So with this particular photo of my daughter, I've printed out a few image transfers. Each one is different, fascinating, and absolutely beautiful. With this one here, obviously I had too much paint on the gel plate because it's a lot more smudged in the print. This one turned out quite defined in the details. I'm loving that. And this one here is my absolute favorite. Well, that's pretty nice and dramatic. Very moody. I like how you can only see the light on this side of her face and then she's in shadow. It would make a really interesting painting or collage. 
yeah, that's a pretty nice print. Pretty happy with that. And on the tissue, it means that I can put it into layers on a collage and it could be really effective. So what you can do now that you have the image transfer is basically anything. You can add collage to your beautiful mono prints to create them into a finished artwork, or you can add paint. You really can do so much with this beautiful mono printing technique. Here, I've taken one of these image transfers. I adhered it to a canvas with matte medium, and then I've applied layers of acrylic paint. Also with this one, I've added some powdered pigment. Now I didn't document or film the next section because I really didn't know if it was going to work. <laughs> this is highly experimental. I absolutely love this process. But you know when you're just in the role of creativity, you don't know if it's gonna work, it might work, it might not. So, you know, I didn't actually push play on the record, but next time I will, absolutely, I promise. Anyway, this is the end result of my beautiful portrait painting of my daughter. I love this one the best. Absolutely love it. I love the way it's so moody. I love the, the color. So I've used a sepia paint, which is a uh, Atelier brown black is what I've used on this one. And I've used that for the image transfer. I then laid that on the canvas, adhered it with matte medium. And I then painted that same paint around it. Of course, I did get a little experimental after that. I put some stencils on it, it looked beautiful in bronze. Golden, bronze fine, I used that for the stencils. And then I started layering acrylic paint and iridescent inks with a pouring medium. Um, that is very experimental. So I wasn't sure if it was even going to work, but it did work and I absolutely love it. And then when all of those layers were dry, I added more stencils on top. Uh, Shalil actually loves this one. This one also has the beautiful stencils on it and the acrylic paints and inks and mediums. The image transfer was a lot more detailed to begin with, so you can see how it's more defined. Uh, she likes that one, which I'm about to post to her, which is fabulous. And as you can see how different they are, they really are very unique each time you make them. You might start with the same photo and the same process, but in the application of paint and in the spontaneity when you're creating your artwork, things always work out differently. I really can't repeat or make something a second time the same way, even if I try, but <laughs> because it just changes each time you come up with different ideas or you want to try something new. So... Have, um, have a try at the image transfer process. It's absolutely fabulous. It's so unique and it creates amazing artwork. It really is an endless possibility of what you can create with your own images, which is the best thing, right? If you want to learn more about the gel printing process and especially image transfers, have a look at my art classes on Skillshare. There's quite a few there at the moment. <laughs> I'm a little obsessed with this technique. You may not have noticed. I absolutely love this process. There's so much possibility. There's so much that can be created and achieved. So many beautiful paintings to be made. Join me in the studio. Uh, the description is below. And I'd love to see you again.